Hey guys, what's going on? Tool Cruise checking in here at Eurobike 2019. I'm standing right here at the Wahoo booth and they've got a really interesting new product so I want to go check it out with you guys. They've got a brand new power bike and I've been really excited. I've been expecting something like this to come out from them for a while so let's go ahead and have a quick first look. So here we go. This is it. This is the kicker bike. So they've got the full setup here. This is the kicker headwind, the front fan. They've also got the standing desk, rolling desk. I've actually got one of these in my apartment. And here's the bike itself. So let's check it out. So I don't really know any of the specs or anything yet. I'm just going to make some quick guesses based on what I see. But it looks like we've got a normal road bike set up here up in the front. So we've got a normal stem, a normal handlebar, and some shifters here. And it looks like these are actually custom Wahoo shifters. It looks like there's a cable here that routes down here and plugs in over here. And this thing's actually been moving. So this thing actually moves with the elevation of the course. So if you're going up a hill, it's going to move up. If you're going down a hill, it's going to move down. So the other thing in here, we've got a water bottle mount. You can use your normal cycling water bottles. And the cool thing with this setup is you can actually use flat pedals. You can use whatever pedals you have. Oh, there we go. It just moved up. So you don't need to have power meter pedals. You can use your mountain bike pedals. You can use your road pedals. You can use whatever you want. And it looks like we've got the stickers here on the normal Wahoo flywheel. Let's move around to the other side. There's also some built-in measurements here so you can make sure you get your exact position and a nice convenient quick release mount here for the seat post so you can get your saddle up. And we've got a triangular kind of platform for the base here. So a front central single part and then two wings that go in the back. And then the wings are connected to wheels so you can just lift this front end and then drag it around with you wherever you need to go. It doesn't look like it folds up so it is going to take a significant amount of space but there's nothing you can really do about that with these power bikes. I actually have a spin bike in my living room and if you're a fan of my channel, you've been watching my videos, you know that I actually use my spin bike connected with power meter pedals so that I can ride Zwift and use my Wahoo standing desk like this. So it's really cool to see this technology being developed, the power bikes getting out more mainstream and having some more options available now. Here we go. We've got some front measures here as well, so you can extend the front part out a little bit more if you want. Lots of cool customizations here. And it looks like they have another one over here so we can actually test ride it out if you want. This one's connected to Zwift. And so yeah, these flat pedals are really nice. Everyone can come out and test ride the bikes. So this thing looks really cool. I'd love to upgrade and get rid of my spin bike and upgrade to this guy. Uh, but I think this is going to be about 10 times but I think this is gonna be about 10 times the price of my spin bike setup. While we're here, we might as well check out some of the other things that they have on display here. So we've got the traditional Wahoo kicker on display here, connected with a kicker climb, and then the head fan here. The Wahoo displays are always really cool. They've always got these big LED displays. And actually, I haven't been riding Zwift at all lately. I rode it pretty regularly last winter but this whole spring summer I've just been bike commuting every day and just no extra energy to really get on the trainer after I'm already getting a good 200k commuting every week and this is the kicker core and then the cheaper option here the kicker snap with the traditional wheel on pretty cool booth they got here with Wahoo and it looks like there's actually a second floor that you can get to above let's see if we can get up there Yeah. Wahoo kicker drinks. <laughs> Wonder what this is, if it's going to be soda. I know they make their own like beers depending on the region. There's their own Wahoo Japan beers and they do that in the UK as well. The Sufferfest. Oh, that's pretty cool. They've got a timeline here going up the stairs of the products that they've been developing. Some Katusha stuff. Cool jersey. And let's see the view from up here. Oh, these jerseys are pretty cool as well. There's Eurobike. So I'll be making a couple more videos while we're here. There's just way too much to go over, but I'll try and be compiling a couple of the highlights for you guys. So be sure to check out some of the other videos from the trip. Anyway, let's make our way back down. 
And while we're going down, let's take a look at the timeline. These are the new Roams in the Kicker Bike. Kicker Core, Kicker Headwind, 2018. 2017, Bolt, Element Mini, Kicker Climb. 2016, the original Element. 2015, Kicker Snap. 2014, the Ticker. And 2013, the original Kicker here, 2012 and 2009, so wow, way back then they had the Ant Plus key. Also, before we go, before we finish this Wahoo themed video, I wanted to show you guys the Zwift setup, which is really cool and right next door. So let's check this out before we end this video. So we've got the Zwift blimp up there and just check out this massive, huge display over here, this huge screen. And there's a whole bunch of different bike setups here. So they've got a Stages power bike. Like I mentioned, there's just a bunch of power bikes out today at the show. We've got a Watt bike over here, and we've got the new Tax power bike over here as well, and finishing off with the Wahoo bike as well. Man, I gotta upgrade my camera equipment. Check that guy out. Anyway guys, I'm gonna end this video here and I'll be making a couple more videos from the trip here and try and catch some of the highlights. If you wanna see more videos from Eurobike and more videos about cycling, be sure to click the subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Tugel Cruise.